Cassie. So if you are somebody who wants to be able to do the splits for whatever reason, but you just don't exactly know how to get there or you're not that flexible or you just know in order to do the splits you have to just attempt at doing the splits sometimes. And so if you're one of those people that wants to do the splits and you don't really know how, I'm here to help you. This is purely from experience. I didn't really learn this from anyone else or from any other videos or anything. This was purely what I just kind of taught myself how to do and it really, really worked. That I went from being not very flexible to being able to do the splits within a couple weeks or months. So I'm going to show you all the stretches I do um, together. You have to do them kind of consistently, maybe four or five times a week. And you, depending on your body and how flexible you already are, you could be able to do the splits in a few weeks to a few months. And that is pretty fast results for anything having to do with fitness and getting results. So I think that's a pretty good deal. Just my tip though is do all the exercises I'm telling you so it's very low risk of you pulling something and hurting yourself. Um, and also you just get overall more flexible in all of your lower body, not just a couple muscles you need to be able to do the splits. So um, let's just get right on into it. These are, I don't know, I probably have six or seven stretches that I do. Okay, so the first stretch I always do is kind of, I don't know, I call it kind of like a half splits type thing because it looks kind of like the splits, but it's not at all. It does not feel the same. So basically, you want to put one leg kind of in front like this and the closer in this leg is the easier it is so if you need to start with it all the way in that's completely fine but try before attempting at the splits or anything try to get your leg about 90 degrees like that and you want to just put your other leg back straight back and be kind of like upright don't be just leaning over and on this side because that does not you don't feel the whole stretch so be up like this and just kind of hold this. You can go down a little bit if you want to feel it more up here. And you should feel it also in your hip right here. Um, so you do want to do the stretch a little bit straight up too. You don't just want to be leaning over the whole time. And then once you're able to do this pretty easily, like for me, I can just kind of sit here no problem. I don't feel that much of a stretch. You can also bring this back leg up. And with whatever arm you want, just pull it in. You'll feel a big stretch in your quad and even more in your hip down there. Um, and just hold this, and you can even go forward on this one too. And just hold each of these for about 20 seconds each. Remember to go slow down when you get out of any stretch. You don't want to pull anything. And then obviously do the other side as well. It helps with a lot. With the splits, you really need to open that hip and not pull anything right in here. So going like this really really helps so that's the number one stretch okay so the second stretch I do all the time is also to help that hip because that I feel like is like well your hamstring and right there is most prone to getting pulled when you're doing the splits because those are the things you're us using the most um, so to do something like this and just go forward until you feel that stretch right in here Okay, so the third stretch I always do, um, a lot of people do, I'll scoot back a little, a lot of people do this stretch where they go on their hamstring and this leg is kind of in, and that's okay, but I definitely feel the stretch better if I have my leg behind me. It can be in, out, whatever it is. Um, I just bend my leg, and it has to be about 90 degrees right here and you go forward on that and that is a way better stretch I think than having your leg in front here so another thing people might not really think of when doing the splits but that you can like I have lower back issues so maybe I just like notice this a lot more but that like you can kind of pull on your back and feel it more like so you want to really stretch out your back like your lower back when doing the splits and so I like doing the good old exercise or stretch, whatever, just knee over or other leg over and you want to just pull and make sure this hand in the back is not very far out or far to the side. Make sure it's as close into your spine as you can get it because then you won't, you'll just be going straight back. You won't be leaning or doing anything wrong to your back and just go 
and hold this one for about 30 seconds, but like when you breathe in, you can go this way, and when you breathe out, try and like just pull further this way, breathe in, breathe out, and just keep trying to pull as much as you can towards the back so you're looking backwards every time you breathe out. Okay, so another exercise is just the butterfly where you have your heels kind of in towards you and you're pushing down on your knees. Like this is just a really good stretch so you don't pull anything in your hips and your like inner hamstrings and stuff. Okay, so the next stretch is focused a lot on your hamstrings and even your like sides and back because those are all the things working when you're doing the splits. So you want to just put your legs out and when you lean over to the side you want to do one stretch where your chest is kind of on like your knee like facing down where you're going like that. It's kind of the same stretch where we had like my leg back like that. It's the exact same stretch it's just a little bit harder because you have more pull this way. And so you want to do that for 15-20 seconds and then you want to do one where you're almost to the side and you're leaning like this because and you'll feel it just all right here and in your lower back and it really just stretches everything out and make sure you don't pull anything in your back because that is also very very bad to do and so do these a lot I like these and then we're gonna do a lot of stretches like in this position kind of so um, this is kind of a stretch that um, tells you when you're ready to do the splits like on my perspective so I just keep going with the stretch until I'm on the floor you'll see what I mean in a second so I go from doing all these stretches I go down side and then instead of just going straight to the other side like that I try and walk my hands along the floor like this and get to this side and here I'll skip back a little bit when I'm like I go like that and then I walk along and I mean I'm pretty much almost at the ground when I'm walking along doing this but I'm not yet and so that means that I'm not like really fully my hamstrings aren't completely stretched out yet my hips aren't exactly ready for the splits yet um, so this is like my indication of when I should go on to the next stretch, which I'll show you is basically trying to do the splits. Um, so I just literally keep doing this until my chest is on the ground, which it can be right now because I'm I was already kind of warmed up before this. But um, so you want to be able to just be on the ground like this, and then the last stretch that I have once your chest can hit the ground when you're like this. See how when I'm going like that, my toes kind of go down? And so that opens up the hips like in the middle right here. But then you also want to be able, if you want to do the middle splits, to be able to hold your feet so they are facing the ceiling the entire time. And then go down with your hips like that. And so then your chest hits the ground like that, which is a little bit more difficult than your feet like facing in and going down. Um, so those are both two very, very good stretches um, and really show you how flexible you are. And trust me, like I sometimes start my workout or start stretching or whatever where I can't even, I can go down this much. Like my elbows can't even touch the floor. It's like, oh my gosh, am I really not that flexible? But then after like a, you know, rotation of going this way, going here and going back like three or four times, I can completely touch my chest to the ground. So just keep doing these over and over until you can touch at least your elbows and hopefully your chest to the ground. And then go on to this next stretch I'm gonna show you. So what you wanna do when you try to go in the front and back splits is, I don't even know if I have enough room here. Like I try and put this knee down, ready? And you kinda slide this leg out and then after this leg is completely straight and can't go anymore then I slide this back leg out and I try to really balance myself with my hands do not just go all the way down right away now even me I'm pretty stretched out and I still can't go all the way down yet because you need to do this a couple times when you're first starting to do the splits or you just started to be able to do it um, 
before you can go all the way down. So even this, I'm still maybe two inches above the ground or something. You do this. And then when you try and get out of this one, I've realized it's good to kind of push your arms up, go back with this leg, and go like that, and you're out. And then, so I'm going to do that with each side maybe like three times until I can finally go down and the splits and I'll show you once you can go down how you can even improve from there you're not done yet you can be more flexible than just doing the splits and I'll show you that in a second okay so after you've done like tried to do the splits a couple times and you're finally even if it's after weeks um, you're finally at the point where you can do the front and back splits um, then you need to do some other things just to make sure you're like more flexible than just that and so I will show you that. So you can go down on the splits. Now you want to be able to put your hands up just like that. So balance is also a key factor in doing the splits. You want to be able to do that. Um, here, I'll show you from this way because now I've been doing the splits on this leg for a while so it kind of hurts. <laughs> And so then, not only do you want to be able to put your hands up, you also want to maybe go forward and really, really stretch that hamstring, and that like really hurts right now, and it's great, oh my god. <laughs> you also want to, I mean, you can't really go back, but you want to go back a little bit, like as far back as you can, to so really stretch that hip. And then also, I can't do that this yet, but you could also, to be even more flexible, put something like maybe that tall um, under either your front or back leg, probably your front leg. You want to put something under your front leg, like maybe one, like a little yoga block or something, um, in order to do kind of inverted splits. Like I've seen people where they're able to literally be like that. Their feet are over here and they're like that. And it's kind of creepy looking. But it's really cool like at the same time. So that's something you could also aim to do if you want to get even more flexible. And then the hardest splits to do are the middle splits, which I will actually attempt to do right now. I have only been able to do them a couple times. I don't know even if I have enough space. I could like go back here. But let's see, this is kind of slippery. I don't know if I can do these right here. Um what I tried to do to be able to do them is I go just like this, like sitting down, and then you put one like hand in front, one in back, and you push yourself up and kind of twist your feet in, and then finally go up like this, and you're basically on your hands and stretching as much as possible. See, I can't even go all the way down on these. I'm like a couple inches off the ground. And then you don't want to like just let your hands fall because then you'll just pull everything. But then you can go back, sit back down, that's like trying to do one, and you can keep doing that until you achieve the middle splits. And then even on that one, if you get to the point where you can do them easy peasy, live and squeezy, then you could put two yoga blocks, like one under this foot, one under this foot, and go like that. And that would be very impressive. If you can do that, please like leave a comment down below and like link like a picture or video of it because that would be freaking cool like I want to see that like <laughs> it's really 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 flexible okay so I don't know how helpful that video was but that was my way of being able to do the splits you saw I could do the front and back splits and I'm like that close to being, being able to do the middle splits and I've actually done them before I just like I want to get this video over with right now, I have a lot to do, but if I did stretch for another 10-15 minutes, I probably could do it. Um, but anyway, just all these stretches that I did, they have been the reason why I can do the splits now. It's not from like weightlifting or running or just stretching in general. It's from doing these exact stretches that really help everything needed to be able to do the splits. So, I hope this was helpful. I hope that whoever wants to be able to do the splits now, you know, has that goal and they know how to achieve it. And I hope that it works in the next few weeks or months. And if it does, please leave comments down below. Or if you have any other even tips about like other stretches that I didn't mention or other ways to achieve doing the splits even faster, then leave that down below too because I'd like to know that too. I'm always willing to learn more. Um, and I don't know everything. I'm not like some expert in this field. I just tell you guys 
what works for me and I'm happy about it so um yeah try these out tell me if it works if it does great if it doesn't I'm sorry I wasted your time <laughs> but they've all definitely worked for me this is the only things I've been doing to be able to do the splits and it's been very helpful so Anywho, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you're not already. Also, turn on notifications for whenever I post a video and you'll get a little ding whenever I do and then you can be excited and watch it. So, anyways, I will see you guys next time. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.